Temperatures are heating up and that means your outdoor water use is going to increase. It always does. Joining us now on the behalf of the Desert Water Agency, Public Affairs Manager Sushi Pena, here to discuss irrigation tips for the warmer weather. We hit 100 degrees on Monday. Yes, and we so sure did. Yeah. The unofficial start of the summer season, <laughs> but it means people will be using more to keep their lawns and plants looking good. So. Yes, and uh, you know we expect that. Of yeah. course, you don't want your plants and your trees to die. That's important. Um, but yes, you know here in the desert, with 70 percent of the water in the Coachella Valley being used outdoors, it's important to be as efficient as you can with your irrigation system. So you have some tips that are important for this time of year, especially when we haven't been doing as much outdoor watering. Uh, it's a good time to make sure that the system that you're using, your irrigation system, is in good shape. Exactly. It's really good to do an irrigation check. Uh, check for any leaks any broken pipes. Uh, make sure that your sprinkler nozzles are actually hitting the areas you want them to hit. Make sure that they aren't hitting the sidewalk or your driveway. You you want them to uh, water uh, your yard, your, your green plants. Areas, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's important this time of year uh, to kind of assess your water needs outside because there are ways to reduce your water use outdoors even as the weather warms up. Uh, exactly. It's important to water uh, appropriately for the time of year because you water differently uh, during the summer than you do the winter and the fall. And a lot of people wonder, well, how much do I water? Um, we have a handy watering guide, an efficient watering guide on our website that tells you how much you should be watering. And it's important to water very early in the day or late in the evening because during the heat of the day, a lot of your water that you spray into the atmosphere evaporates before it does any good for your grass or your plants. Exactly. So uh, that's one of our, our tips is definitely uh, early morning. That's a great time to water in the evening uh, to avoid all that evaporation, all that water waste, and so that the water really is going where it should. Yeah, it's very important, especially when the temperatures do start getting around those triple digits. The evaporation really increases. Uh, you can find all of these tips and more by going to dwa.com org slash save as Sochi and her team have a great way to make sure that you're using as little water as possible to get the optimum effect for your lawn and garden. Yep, that's true. <laughs> DW, and you get smart controllers, you've got a turf rebate program, so there are all kinds of things that people can do. Yes, and uh, our program is all on our website. All the details are there. So it's your one-stop shop for water, smart usage, dwa.org. Thank you, Sochi. Thank you.